Hey everyone, this is Cody with MC Experiments and today we're going to be working with fire tornadoes. In the video we're going to give you a small scale demonstration of a fire tornado and we're going to talk about how they're created in real life and also how to create an experimental fire tornado. Now that we got the warning out the way, first thing we're going to be using is a uh, Dirty Susan and this is going to act as our spinning device to spin our fire and you'll see why that's important a little bit later on in the video. Next up we're gonna have a regular sponge you can find these at the 99 cents or they're like three for a dollar and what we're gonna do though is we're gonna cut them up into small little squares which are gonna place in a little glass bowl or aluminum bowl and we also happen to find this one for a dollar at the 99 cent store and we coated the inside with aluminum and also what I have put in here is a lighter fluid barbecue lighter fluid which is going to help create a bigger fire and lastly our lighter you can also use a barbecue lighter really any source of ignition also what you're going to need is a platform to put everything on we happen to use a plate which we have on top of the dirty Susan to rotate everything and your last item you're going to need is a metal screen we got this one from an old window that we weren't using anymore and we tied it together into a cylinder type shape with little staples all along the side to hold it in place now the screen is going to be the key to this experiment. As we spin it around, the little holes are going to draw in air sideways and that's going to collide with the fire rising up and it's going to create that tornado-like effect or vortex-like effect, which is also what happens with real fire tornadoes. Most of the time with wildfires and you have the air coming in, a strong current of air coming in through the side, rises up and creates the fire tornadoes in nature. Now here we are in a safe environment, so let's start by lighting our sponges on fire. And these will act as our wildfire and what it would be like in real life. And with no air current, nothing's going to happen to the flames, they're not going to create any sort of fire tornado or anything like that, they're just going to move around in really unpredictable ways. But once we add our screen on, which is going to act sort of as our trees, and when we go ahead and spin the screen, which we'll do in just a second, it's going to draw in the air and act as a strong current and create that fire tornado. So there you guys have it, a fire tornado. Let's go ahead and switch the light off so you guys can see it better. So once again, we're gonna go start by spinning it and as you spin, the hot air is rising and it collides with the cold, strong air current coming in through the sides and in our example, it's being brought in by the screen and it creates that fire tornado. And if you do decide to try this experiment at home, make sure you have parental supervision you are in a controlled and safe environment and that you have either water or a fire extinguisher handy. So that's all for our fire tornado experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new and I'll leave you to admire the flames. This is Cody from MC Experiments signing out.